Hi, today I'm going to do a quick video about taking makeup off because I've got quite a lot of makeup on. I was being filmed for something this morning and I thought, well, I'll leave it on for the rest of the day and I'll try and make a quick film about taking makeup off because lots of people have asked um, what's the best way to remove makeup at the end of the day and I thought I'd show you how I like to do it. Um, I haven't made a film for a while because it's just been so busy with work. I've been shooting lots of covers and celebrities and um, magazine stuff and it's, it's all really great and exciting but it just means I haven't had any time so it's nice to be back. Okay I'm going to tie my hair back. I've got um, yeah quite a full makeup on as you can see lots of um quite a bit of foundation which is more than i would normally wear during the day obviously and i've also got a ton of individual fake lashes on so i'm going to show you how i remove those let's get this tie back okay now i've, I've done a skincare video once before it's quite a while ago um and lots of the skincare cleansers and things that I use then I still really like using but I have got a couple of new ones to show you that I've got really into recently. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my lipstick and I tend to do that if I'm wearing quite a lot of makeup. I like like a bright bright colour because otherwise you're smearing it all over the rest of your face. I'm going to use Bioderma. I'm still using this for, um, for lots of things, definitely a lot for work but also for myself for removing eye makeup and if I've got strong lips on. So I'm just going to fold it over and and then fold over again. So I've got it on that side. Turn the thing over and uh, wipe across. It just gets the worst of it off. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is my eyes. I like to use Bioderma for eye makeup removal just because I find it takes waterproof mascara off and fake lashes and I don't really like very oily removers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split one of these um, discs in half and I'm going to split this other one in half like that. And what I like to do is I soak these in Bioderma, so I've got two little halves and I put these, I do this even if I haven't got fake lashes on, so if I've got lots of mascara, obviously if I haven't got much on I don't need to do this but I always like to just put one under there and one under there and my philosophy with removing eye makeup remover ooh, feels strange is you just have to leave it for a long time it's don't rub just get plenty of product on a pad and then just hold it I'm not going to do both eyes at once but I actually would do that if I was um, on my own <laughs> If I had come home from a night out, I would very much just sort of hold that. And I find just holding it and patting it for a few seconds just means that you don't have to do any of that rubbing. You know, it's that sort of, you see people really rubbing their eye makeup and I hate it. I'm just going to do one actually at a time because it's too difficult. So just holding it like that and patting it. And then I kind of just very gently kind of ease it off. So that's taken nearly all of my mascara off and it's taken all of my fake lashes off and there wasn't any rubbing or pulling or anything like that. I mean I will obviously take off the last bit but I just find if you do it that way you never need to kind of um, you know aggravate your eyes or sort of pull them too much or it really upsets me when you see people with hardly any product on and they're like rubbing and scrubbing their eyes it's going to pull the delicate skin around your eyes which is going to lead to wrinkles and fine lines but also if you're sensitive in any way your eyes just going to be a mess so I mean sometimes even when I come home from doing this I sort of do one I leave it on for as long as possible and I'm sort of doing other things at the same time because the longer you can leave it there and just press and then when you're ready just start to feel like you're just loosening them or you know the lashes or in this case the mascara as well and then just gently kind of like you're just persuading them ever so gently to come off And that's it they're all off again 
Now, you want, if you want to, you can use them again because if you haven't used an oily remover, they're just perfectly in good condition. And if you just clean them off a little bit more and just put them all on a tissue, you could easily stick those all on again if you wanted to. So once I've done that, so I've done sort of my eyes and my lips, then I've got to do the base. Now, if I've been wearing a lot of makeup, like actually I have today, because I've got full foundation on, I've got, um, what have I got on, Chanel, Pro Lumiere, but I've also got double wear um, powder foundation on top and I've got concealer and I've got highlighter and I had lots of blusher on. So in this instance, I would often use um, an oil. This is one that wasn't in my last skincare video, but I've got really into it and it's the Keraskin one. And what I like about this oil is firstly you get 400 mils, it's 40 pounds, but it's 400 mils, so it's kind of double the size of the normal bottles you get. It's very, very thin. You know, some of the oils I found a little bit heavy. This one's very thin. It, it's very, very light. It takes off all of your makeup. And it also has Omega-3 and 6 oils in, so your, your skin's left really nicely conditioned. I'm not going to use that one now because I'm nowhere near a sink here. So, Because um, with that one, you massage for about two minutes. And then you add a little bit of water. Just add a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more until it becomes like a milk. And then you either take it off with a cloth or whatever, and then you rinse it. Um, and it does work really, really well if you're wearing a lot of makeup. If you're not wearing a lot of makeup, or what I'm going to use now is um, I normally just use a lotion. I've got two new ones that I've got really into. Um, these are, I still use actually the other ones, I still use the Lizelle one and the other ones that were in my other video, but these are two new discoveries. One is by Alpha H, and I've sort of started using lots of their products. This is the Balancing Cleanser. This is a three-in-one, so it's really good for eye makeup remover as well. Um, it's kind of a, it's light and creamy, but it's not too heavy. Um, and that one's fantastic, it takes off all your makeup, your skin's left really fresh. And then a, a brilliant discovery, I think, is this one, which was sent to me, and I, I didn't read anything about it. I think that's quite good sometimes, because sometimes you get a little bit way, sort of, you read a press release and it's so gushing and the marketing so sort of hyped the product up, it changes your perception of it. And with this one, it sort of, I used the whole thing up, this is my second one, um, before I read anything about it, and then I was sort of thinking, gosh, what was that brand? And when I looked into it, it's um, it's an organic brand. I think it's quite new. It's a British brand called Purity. It's exclusive only to Superdrug, and it's actually four ninety nine, which I think's brilliant, such good value. So I'll show you how I do it. I use quite a bit. I use about this much, and I normally just do sort of all over. And then I start really kind of massaging. And I do like to sort of give my face a good massage when I'm removing makeup. I think it's a really good time to kind of, you know, sort of really get that circulation going. With the first cleanse, you can see it's all loosening off. To kind of get it all loosened. And then you can either use, obviously, damp cotton wool. You can use a muslin cloth. You can use um, sponges, whatever you like. But the main thing is just to really get rid of all the makeup. So again, I, I tend to be really gentle, just sort of when they get makeup on, turn them over, all over. I'm really not a fan of wipes for taking makeup off. I just don't like them at all. I mean, I'll use them in an emergency, but I would never sort of come home with this amount of makeup on that I've got on today and use a wipe. I'd be much more inclined to sort of do exactly what I'm doing now. So that's my first cleanse done. And then I always do a second cleanse, either two with the lotion or I'll do one with oil to get the thick makeup off and then the second one with lotion. With the second cleanse, I definitely do more of a massage. Also with the second one, I go down onto my neck. So I feel like this, the second cleanse is the one that's cleansing the skin. The first one is taking the makeup off and the second one is really kind of getting all the makeup out of the pores, the last bit of makeup out of the pores. Whenever you're near your eyes, always kind of be quite gentle. So that is thoroughly 
clean nothing left at all all around the edges as well anywhere here where you've got makeup onto your neck always cleanse your neck even behind your ears you know it's just nice to sort of get any bits of makeup if you've been wearing quite a bit all off so at this point I would just splash my face with water I just like the feel of water I never use cold water I don't use hot water I use sort of lukewarm water just to kind of get the last just I just like the feeling of it. I just really um, whether I've used oil or whatever I've used or a cloth I just like a final rinse after I've done a final rinse there's normally like a tiny bit of mascara left that maybe just comes off you know and I just use then a cotton bud and I'll just go into the roots of the lashes or wherever the last little bit of mascara is once I've done that sometimes I use a toner to be honest a lot of the time I don't uh, if my face feels really clean and if I've rinsed it with water um, sometimes I feel like I need to be a bit fresher um, and then I'll use something gentle like the Dr. Hauschka toner or the Liz Earl one just wipe over or sometimes spray and then I'll just go on and use serum or whatever I'm going to use before I go to bed so that's me all fresh and clean and I feel that just feels so nice isn't it at the end of the day to get your makeup off it's so lovely um, so that's the way I do it um, the products I've used all of them are good for all skin types as well so if you like any of these products there's more information about them on my blog just be super gentle you know you saw the way I took the eye makeup off I had eight ten fake lashes on and they just dissolve off better than all the rubbing you know because makeup and eyelash glue and all these things they're made of waxes they're made of oil silicones all this stuff that you need to use enough product to dissolve them you know you need to make a sort of uh, you need to liquefy them and and dissolve makeup off so that's why using wipes and things very good because not enough product it's a thin paper and hardly any product whereas I'm you know I believe in loosening the makeup dissolving the makeup very very gently lifting it off and then you know loosening and sort of cleaning out the pores you, you need like for like to get the makeup off especially if you're wearing a lot like I was so um, that's it for more information um, check out my blog as I say there's all the um, some of these nice products have got other products in their ranges that I like too so um, that's it now I'm fresh and clean for bed and that's exactly where I'm going to go so thanks for watching and bye for now